then I'm gonna pull it up and like what? take it out. You know what I mean? Like is they you're not delivering the baby. What's gonna go on? What? It's not gonna be you, buddy. Like, are they gonna, are they gonna leave me out? Am I gonna be the one in the room that doesn't know what's happening? Yes, obviously. Like, am I gonna be left obviously. out? Or, like, I feel like the huddle would be dope. Like before, like just me, the doctor. You making it too serious, the bro. Huddle. What is good, Diamond Dynasty, baby? Welcome back. To another mother friggin' video. There's a lot of girls with me right now. Got a lot of drugs with me right now. But I'd rather just be <laughs> Let's not go too soon now. I feel the same. And a lot of girls hit it my now. Hey, oh, <laughs> And today, baby, as y'all can motherfucking see, I got my goddamn nigga with me, okay? This my motherfucking best friend, okay? So she has a channel also with me, Studology 101, and also with her fiance, Nick and Liz. Hey. She also has her personal channel too, Nights Nick. All of the links will be in the description down below, okay, guys? So shout out to everybody, man. 100K, this is fucking man. nuts. Her and my other friends surprised me last night with 100K balloons. Y'all, they're in the background right now. Y'all cannot see them, but they are gold 100K shiny. Fucking balloons guys and wow i'm just like at a loss for words it still is not real to me guys i guess that's why i'm not really shocked because i just it doesn't click to me it has not hit me guys but i guess it is real i guess i woke up today it's and i was surreal. like okay i guess it is 100k it might look like i'm talking a little bit funny because i just left the dentist and my whole bottom mouth is numb so my lip isn't moving how i should like i sent les a snap and i was like if i kiss you this is how it's gonna look they got into a heated argument last night, guys, and it kind of went down, you know? They were arguing about the fucking balloons, but I told them everything was okay. There's enough helium in all of them, you know? For real, she <laughs> did come back from the dentist, guys, and her yeah. shit is a little, you know what I'm saying? And don't mind this, I've been eating too much goddamn chocolate, okay? I hope y'all still love me, baby, okay? <laughs> He goes by the name of Is I I Z Z E Y E. Shout out to you. If y'all enjoyed that song, make sure that y'all check him out. All of his links will be in the description down below as well. That is like a nice little, like she said, Frank Ocean type of vibe, yeah. right? I'm feeling that vibe, I'm feeling your swag, and I'm definitely feeling that lady, that pretty little lady you got in your goddamn video, okay? okay. Shout out to her. If you guys wanted me to react to Clarence's video, okay? One of his new videos. Do I want more kids? So we are oh, going to get see. into this. We're just gonna feel the vibe and see exactly how we feel, all right? So let's get into mm. it make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel make sure that you comment your thoughts and opinions down below share this video with a friend hit that bell so you can be notified every time i post another lit ass video make sure that you dm me at dz studology 101 and let me know what i should be reacting to next and tell a friend to tell a friend to the ain't your mama to the uncle joe that nigga's still a hoe and let's get right into this motherfucking video let's get it What's up, Spicy Mafia? This nigga high is a motherfucking kite. Do y'all see this nigga's eyes? You already bro. know. This nigga and I love high. that Versace uh, robe he has. Man, on. that nigga's just stunting, okay? He's drippy, okay? Oh, and that Gucci hat. Hey, give me my juice. No. Give me White my juice man. back. It's not about that. <laughs> What's up, Spicy Mafia? It's your boy Clint. What's in that cup? What is the real that cup? question? Okay, you lean on the Eyes are low. Low as fuck. It's something in that cup. That's all I'm gonna say. No. Queen is currently. No, no, this, I don't know. This cup is 75% ice. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. This cup is 75% ice. And what? 2% alcohol? I've been doing very, oh, very juice. good with my iron. Juicy did you, juice. Did you take your iron pills yesterday? I yes, I know. This, but my lip ain't. <laughs> It ain't working right. But y'all get the gist. Why y'all um why y'all drinking uh baby CJ's juicy juice? <laughs> Stay out the little man shit, okay? Y'all got water, y'all got shoulders, y'all got all types of shit, but y'all wanna drink the juicy juice. Crazy. No. I'm doing a thing. No, you're not. The doctor said no ice. The, uh, the doctor said little <laughs> to no ice. So I'm picking the little part. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> How do you gauge? You can't give a motherfucker no instructions like that who loves ice. If they are going to, if you go, if you tell her just eat a little bit of ice or no ice at all, she's going to pick little ice and she's going to form her own definition of what a little bit of ice is. Okay? Exactly. So you can't say that. You just have to say, this is very important. You cannot have no motherfucking ice or it could affect the fucking mm -hmm. baby or your health. Okay. I know avid ice drinkers that get a Route 44 at uh, Sonic and get nothing but ice. Yeah, that's it's not that that's serious, guys. Most. Yeah, I used to ooh, I used to love ice so much. I still do sometimes, but I'm not crazy about it like I used to be. But yeah, I didn't know part. All right, but it's more ice in the fridge. So there's thousands of ice. So thousands of ice. Oh, what's up, yeah, so this, is, this is this video is long overdue. <laughs> this video is very long overdue. All right, let's make it happen. Um, Come on, my dude. Shit. There. Let's this get is into a it. Question. And answer. All right, let's get to it. Question and answer. Though. Crispy cut though. Crispy taper. Crispy mm -hmm. lineup. Shout out to Claire. It makes me want to get my fade back. Hey, back. We all been waiting for. I have the questions written down on my all my notes in my notes. Okay, okay. So, like, we ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's get it. ready. Let's, let's get, get it, dude. Let's get you it. You sure you ready? Been ready. Did he take his shirt off? Tell me right now. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Get hype, bro. I, f I see us so like shirt opening off, feeling up more himself. businesses. You know, like creating more jobs for people. I just see my, myself as one head of the empire. Uh, Queen. I feel like Queen is the other. Yeah, I'm gonna say it again. Every time he talks about business, I'm gonna say, come out with your motherfucking line. Do your goddamn jeans like you used to. Your jeans are yeah. clean as hell, my G. Your jeans, your shirts used to make everything from scratch. Now you have the power and resources to do so much more. You can build a fucking empire with your fucking clothing line. Yeah, dude. Like, you gotta make a name for himself. That right? shit is lit. Stop riding on your girl's coattails, my <laughs> nigga. I'm gonna keep saying this Flexing shit. Flexing off queen. You know, I ain't got no problem with your Claire Bear. If you're treating her right, hey, what's done in the dark will come into the light. That's all I'm gonna say. But get your own shit together, because what if it don't work out between you guys and, you know, what if y'all deuce deuce and y'all out? Now you okay. have to... I'm pretty sure niggas gonna still fuck with you because you fuck with Queen. Same way Chris is still, but they built that together, right. okay? You got to come up with your own motherfucking name, okay? Leave us a comment down below and let us know if you feel the same way or not. I feel like me and her are gonna do big things, big things. And a lot of people, what about you though? That's all I'm saying. People don't know as me. An I'm right. very business savvy. Yeah, that's where I see myself in five years, man. Just successful. And also a successful father. You know, continue to just try to be a better person every every day, every year, you know. Second question. Are you and Queen having a baby shower? Um, I'm sorry to inform you guys, but mm -hmm. we will not be having a baby shower Why just not? because it's like last minute. And it's kind of too late. Last like minute, you had all the time right. in the world. Y'all just don't want to invite certain family members. Y'all don't want to invite certain friends. Y'all don't even want to <laughs> fucking like. This shit is weird, bro. This shit is fucking weird, dude. Like, you can't even have a normal life. You can't have, like, Queen's mama ain't never been to the crib. Why not? Uh uh. Queen's sister ain't never been to the crib. Why not? What? You know Why? what I'm saying? But you got your What's sister, I guess, because your sister is the manager. She can be all up and through the goddamn house. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, guys. Y'all leave me a comment down below. Let me know exactly what how y'all feel going about on that, dude. in the royal family. I household? just feel like this nigga is controlling everything, and people gonna say what they want to say. All the queen haters, I don't give a damn. You can say what the fuck you want to say, because y'all always, <laughs> all your little minions and shit, want to come on my goddamn comment section talking shit. You know, but it is what it is. I'm just stating the fucking facts. Yeah. You know, like, why can't Queen communicate with the her? The why, why is in the pudding. Yeah, she's being separated from her family and friends, dude. And there's only one culprit. And we're looking at him, okay? Now, um, Queen is not allowed to fly anymore due to her being pregnant, obviously. So we're not flying anywhere for a long time. So... He's so and it's like too running. soon and <laughs> too rushed Zooted. to like do it in Atlanta because we was planning on doing it in New York. But I think we're gonna try to do something else, like something out of the ordinary. I know, like uh, I I don't know what why, but we never do things like traditionally. So it just never works out. So maybe we have like a reveal. Mm -hmm. you know, um, Y'all don't try to make it work out. Yeah, you got time. That's all you need to make it work out. Of legend, dumb. You know? so, it's dumb. 
Yeah, I'm sorry to inform you. I wanted to have a baby shower. Nigga, shut the fuck up. Was no, totally you didn't. Late, and then now she's not able to fly. No, you didn't. So we would have to like. Y'all already said initially in one of the earlier royal family house tours that you guys will probably do the fucking baby shower down there in the motherfucking lounge. So what are you talking about? I don't get it. You don't have to fly to New York to have a motherfucking baby shower. Y'all yeah. can have it right there at the crib, invite family and friends, and call it a motherfucking day. I just don't understand. For real. Because it, it's really supposed to be intimate and personal when right. you have a baby shower. Facts. So it's not like there's that many people. Was you, what, what was you planning on doing? Inviting the whole royalty family or what? You know, I just don't get it. I don't understand. Guys. Drive to Cecilia. New York, which is like it. a lot for her now, too. She has to rest, you know, have her feet up and stuff. So it's just a lot right now. Really. It would be very inconvenient for her. Three, will y'all open a P.O. box? I would love to open up a P.O. box, truthfully. I would love to hear what y'all, like, got to say. I would love to hear. All right, let's get to this stuff. Anything I gotta good think here? Of, I gotta try to get one out here. That <laughs> nigga is sipping, baby. How about you? If you could change one thing in your life, what would it be? If I could change one thing in my life, one thing in my life, I, I wish my life was... I, I like being, I like having like my privacy sometimes. I'll put you on that. Even though I'm getting adjusted and used to this life, you know, where like my life is out there and like everybody knows about it and everybody's like has an opinion to it. I kind of wish I had that power back, but I don't. You know what I mean? Like it's just that whole privacy factor is just, it's like me and Queen being in the movies, we eating. In the bathroom, all that, like, and people, <laughs> they, they want weird. pictures, they mm -hmm. want, like, and I have no problem, I, trust me, I've never said no to a, to a picture. Yeah, you have. Yeah? You lied. Yes. Oh, yeah. my. And the why reason why I lying? say that is, in a previous video, they had went to Dave and Buster's, and they all ignored the fans. The fans were trying to get a picture, and they basically shut everybody down. They said that this is going to be a family day, so nobody can talk to them, speak to them. They acted like none of their fans existed. So, yeah, that was a lie. Guys. Oh, my bold face <laughs> lie. That was a lie, To the guys. subbies. Yeah, if I can find that clip in my other video, I will definitely slide it in here somewhere. But, yeah, that was Ain't a lie. Lie, to lie detector determined, okay? I'm just oh, saying. Man. <laughs> Queen has never said no to a picture. Maybe my security guard has said no. It's the same thing! It's the yeah. same thing because yeah. say like if I'm out somewhere and security tells somebody one of my fans no you can't I can you can, I, I can have the power to I say, can say no 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 it's cool you know exactly. um, I'm gonna show love these are my people's type shit but no you did not you let the security guard do what they do you ignored oh <laughs> I can't see nobody oh we just go play hoop and shit you know what I'm saying it's just that's just how I feel now to their defense I do understand that a private life is a better life I get it you know but when you sign up for this lifestyle this is what comes with it nobody put a gun to your head and said bitch you're gonna fucking be famous and you better like it okay just like with Chrissy she gets mad when certain things happen but it's like you are a public fucking figure now you're signed influence. up for this so yeah guys you know what I mean but not me personally I can never say no like some days we just like maybe my security guard and I love it when my security guard steps in and says no for me. Wanna like okay. enjoy the time with each other and like I get that. You know, or she wants but to enjoy her time with CJ or we wanna just is. chill and go watch a movie or just like and it just it gets so hectic sometimes but like again it's a blessing because I'm not complaining at all. Just I guess that privacy factor on like Gotcha, privacy, alright. When it releases just things like that thing that's the only thing that I would like I would like change. What I don't I mean? really believe in like changing things in life. I think everything happens for a reason, and everything has a purpose. So I don't really like changing things, but that was one, that would be one thing I would change. But then you would have to look on the flip Dang, side. Of that. Dude. Would you rather be walking around and no one know who you are, or okay. business calls? It's a long ass um, explanation, bro. Um, and I thought I was long winded. Okay. <laughs> Adobe Illustrator. Or Instagram. This is literally the male version of Chrissy, okay? Like boring <laughs> as shit, you feel me? Like just boring. It's hard to watch this video. Like that helps, you know? <laughs> that does help. I can't lie to you. The brand ambassador of it, is he know, still CJ going? Is a young star. Have that have him in it. Um Queen, of course, my baby girl, but have her in it. Expand my brand as big as possible. What brand? What brand is he talking about? Like though? My brand. Maybe his uh, just himself. 
Clarence. It can be very big. Oh, yeah. Because my influence on like fashion and like clothing and what I wear. That's what stuff, you need like, to do. Is I do have a bit of an influence, so I, I gotta use that. But I have been focused on that. I haven't forgot about that. I know I get messages every single day that I need to do something. I need yes, to do something. There's someone coming at me saying I need. I'm gonna buy his jeans. His jeans are fucking wavy, wavy and quality I ass jeans. Yeah. Do this. So where's my clothing? So I got ya for all my supporters. You like sleep. Mafia, I got ya. Hey now, I want to do merch for y'all too. I want to do merch Wait so y'all can show support and feel me rock out. All right, like, with your cock out. Let's see. And use incorrectly. And I'm not saying this is all I see because all I see is love, truthfully, in person mm -hmm. and in the streets. All I see is love. So the only hate I receive is like from the internet and stuff. And like I see it like my name being used wrong or being bashed. Continue to be mentally strong and like not let any of those things stop me or stop me but i'm not nothing's not, so like i've been able to like grow and now like to improve like <laughs> just inconsistent i would love to stay consistent with youtube i oh, know my so schedule boring. doesn't allow oh like our schedule doesn't this is allow dragging does he even answer if he wants kids or not as consistent like, as we want. <laughs> just want to be more than money do you want more kids and when Good. Honestly, so we can I start wouldn't mind having more kids. What I don't know is when. When I would want another kid is, I don't know. You ain't want the first one. No shame, but a little bit of shame right there. Because you didn't want the first one, okay? You yeah. cried your eyes out. You, you think know? that was an oopsie? That was definitely an oopsie. I never, get, I never have got the vibe that Clarence was 110% into Queen. Fuck no. Like, I feel like... Ain't no way. You know, she he just riding that wave with her. And Queen oh, not true. bad looking, so he tolerates or whatever mm -hmm. but i feel like he's just adjusting because of all the fame yeah yeah you know? i think um i think he initially didn't want i think he initially wanted them to just be fuck buddies be like friends, friends yeah. with benefits type shit and maybe they were good friends and things of that nature but when you mix sex in there you then you had a child and i think that's when everything changed they were like oh well now we have to make it seem like oh, okay well we have to come out as a couple even though they might have just been fucking you feel me right. so to the world because eventually we're gonna have to tell the world that you're pregnant you know and she doesn't believe in mm -hmm. um abortions so she wasn't finna abort the fucking baby and she sure wasn't finna abort his baby, okay? I'm not trying to say Queen was trying okay. to trap his ass, but I'm just saying, you know? Like, I think low-key they were both trapping each other, you feel uh, me? For different reasons man. type stuff. So, it's going to be interesting how all of this and unfolds. Chris Sills, man, the baby ain't here yet. I know Chris is probably like, man, what the hell is happening? Yeah. Uh, Poor Chris But, Chris Chris. I do miss Chris Sills and Queen Oh, man. Together. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know if y'all miss Chris and Queen, too. I know it's going to be a lot of niggas. Oh, fuck Chris. Chris uh, did this, he cheated, blah, 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 blah. we understand. Chris' voice sound like he got the car. Right, 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 but um, <laughs> Mr. Cough still. But yeah. yeah, leave us a comment down below. Let us know if you missed that vibe, because I definitely missed that vibe. Chris was very goofy. Queen is goofy as fuck. I feel like she toned it down for Clarence, you mm -hmm. know? So yeah. I, I miss the goofy-ass Queen. I miss the goofy-ass Chris, Because that's the real too. her. That's, yeah, that's, that's that the is truth. the real her. Yep, and I feel like she's at her happiest when she can just be herself. Mm -hmm. And I don't think she has been able to be that for a while now, guys, but... It's sad, guys. Let's see what else he got to say. Like, just our career, and we're so young, and I, like, like, I, like, the world is just, like, ahead of us. Like, we can pretty much, like, you know what I'm saying? Our dreams are coming true, like, to, together and stuff, but, like, now you we still baby. <laughs> are young and could, like, you know what I'm saying? Queen, could, is, I feel like she's gonna be legendary. And like her lane and that music, she's gonna be legendary. I think she's gonna be a legendary, um, just public figure in general. Like I feel like a lot of girls look up to her, and a lot of people look up to her. And I think she's just gonna be. How did we get from kids to this? Because he's just saying, like, does he want more kids? Like he's thinking, like, there's so much ahead of them. Like, oh, that this... they don't need to have no kids right, right now. Right, right. Gotcha. Like you already got one. Slow down. Yeah. One's enough to be you like, got, dang, and Queen got two, so you got one. Luckily, Chris is a phenomenal father over yeah. there, handling his business. Right, you know, she don't have a deadbeat. It's but. gonna be cool that CJ and Legend, baby Legend, are gonna be close in age. That's gonna yeah. be pretty dope. Cause then they don't really have to worry about having a baby right away. Cause if it was me, if I wanted two kids, I would want them to kind of be close together in yeah. age. You know, so you don't have one that's ten and one that's three. For you real. Know, like they really can't so relate. So they can hang out. Yeah. Yeah. 
legendary, like in general. You know what I mean? And then me with the clothes, that I could do a whole bunch of things with my clothes and my style. Jay been coming out with whatever I want to do over here. We waiting. We waiting, man. So I don't want now just having kids for that to like our dreams to diminish or feel like we need to stop. I don't know when I would have another kid, but I wouldn't mind having another kid. Just one kid is like, for me, even though he has CJ, I would want him to grow with an, another one. Why not? Why not? Next question. What are some insecurities you have about being a first time dad? Some insecurities I have about being a first time dad is definitely like, one would be definitely like holding him. I never liked holding babies because they're like so small and like That's not an fragile. They feel so soft and like That's something you're scared to do. vulnerable. <laughs> like they're That's like so insecure. vulnerable. Like if I throw like not if I throw them, but like if like, <laughs> anything could happen and it's what? like your fault. You I know what I mean? So it's it. like I never liked holding baby, but this is my baby, so I know I'm gonna have to hold him. So I gotta get like used to What kind of damn thing is that, nigga? Uh what type of fucking answer was that, nigga? That's not an insecurity. I'm scared to hold my baby because I might crush him. You know, like, what? what? I don't get it. Like, of course it's a baby. baby. It's a fragile baby. You're not about to choke it to death, are you? Like, That's my main insecurity you is holding baby. my baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, was that a was that a rehearsed answer or something? Boy, or did that, that just come a, off the dome? Like, that was a I'm tipsy and high. I, I guess so. I you know, know the baby's so fragile. Right. You know, so, oh Lord Jesus. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know how y'all feel about that statement. I think it's fucking ridiculous. What is the real insecurity? Okay, are you just trying to beat around a motherfucking bush? Cause just let us know. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Well, right. I really don't have any insecurity or whatever it is. Okay, because we know you do. So okay. insecurity could be uh, sacrificing my happiness to stay in this relationship because we got a baby now. That's true. You know it could be anyone. We need an insecurity time. answer. It could be anything. It could be just being a father in general. Like, damn, am I going to do well? Am I not? Right. Am I going to fail? Am I going to, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of pressure that yeah. your baby does well, too. So it could be a numerous things mm -hmm. that, numerous insecurities. But um, I don't think, like, holding your baby is one of them. That's but hey, one. we ain't going to judge, baby, okay? If that's how you feel, that's how you feel, okay? That and, like, perfect that. Um, another thing. Perfect that. Perfect that. Perfect. Just the best way to perfect it, go on and get your little toy doll this nigga, and practice. This nigga said it'll be perfected, like, bro. Like it's an actual crash. Just like maybe being too hard on my, my son. Okay, I that's, like that's one. I'm not going to be, I don't want to be that strict dad. I want to be that cool young dad. That you, Open door policy is what I want with my kids. Okay. You know, like you can relate to and always talk to, you know what I mean? But I do want to, I want my son to grow, grow up with like certain morals and certain principles where like he's respectful. Just about to say that, do not disrespect me because then I'm going to have to throw your ass out the window, okay? Hello. But other than that, <laughs> I do want my child to be able to talk to me about anything, you know? Mm -hmm. And I don't want my child to fear me because right. I feel like that's, you're going to be in an even worse position. Say if you're out there in the streets and something happens and you're scared to call me, yeah. And now you end up dead or seriously hurt because Real you shot. felt like you couldn't fucking call me because I was going to judge that you or come down on you. Absolutely. So, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he has goals and he's hustler. Like, he's hungry, too, you know? Like, not too spoiled, but he's hungry okay. where he goes and gets what he wants, you know? So, I wanted to be... I want to just make sure I instill certain things into him, like, for him to become a great, like, a young man. Just hold him and, and <laughs> just... He like that holding part. Too hard on, you know. I never want, I never want to let him down either. I never want him to like need me and I'm not there. So I, yeah. I, I definitely never want to leave him for no reason, you know. Are you on it? Or not being his life for any reason. Next question: Are you ready to see Queen in the delivery room? He had to drink to that, my nigga. Look. Look, he had to drink to that. Look at body language, guys. He had to take a fucking drink. Let's play that back, guys. <laughs> or not being his life for any reason. Next question. Are you ready to see Queen in the delivery room? <laughs> Nigga went straight to that. I'm not quite sure if I'm ready. I don't know if I would say ready. Ready or not. Here I come. Okay. You can't hide, nigga. Ah, she she gonna come through. I kind of yeah. have to be there. You know what I mean? You kind of oh, have to be say. there. 
You don't say. Do you not want to be there for your motherfucking girl and your child? It's like, I kind of have to be there. You don't say. Most most people kind of have to be there when they're... When their child is born. Hello. You know? What? I'm not quite sure if I'm ready. I don't know if I would say ready. I would say, like, I kind of have to be there. You that's know crazy. I, mean? I bet Queen watching that, them that's, like... That's not a good... Boy, I bet Queen watching the video like... You should have snipped that out, my G. You oh, know? Man, re-answer. But it, it's either that drink or that goddamn smoke. It's got him feeling some type of way that he could just say whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he probably that. he probably I want didn't the truth to come out. He know? probably didn't want to edit shit. And you know, Queen gonna be there regardless, so he really don't give a shit, I'm pretty sure, you know. That's crazy though. Wow. Cause it's like I'm not a, I don't know what to expect in it. Truth. <laughs> I don't know what to expect from it. Oh, what do you mean? I got kids, please help me out. <laughs> I don't know what Bro, the baby expect. gonna come out. You're gonna have to comfort your girl. You're gonna have to hold her hand, yeah. tell her breathe. Okay, breathe. Oh, you're doing great. You're doing great, baby. You're doing support. great. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come what on. Mean? You what you can expect is a whole baby coming right out the vagina. Yeah, man, you coming might pass right out. out, but hey, okay. you gotta be there, my nigga. What do you mean when you don't know what to expect? Have you never seen, like, TLC baby delivery show. I mean, you I'm can pretty watch a whole sure one on YouTube. I'm pretty sure you know you have a gist of what's gonna go on in that goddamn delivery room. Okay, so for me, the vibe that I get is that this nigga just is either scared, scared or shitless. he don't give a fuck. Okay, <laughs> one of the he's other. Scared. Or he's probably, not ready. Yeah, he, he 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 didn't. He's too young in his eyes. Yeah, I just feel like I don't know. I just feel like he didn't expect to have one with Queen. Mm. Especially period, this probably not right now. Especially you know? this song. How old are they? Uh, I think 24. 24. It's not too bad. It's, it's not bad, but you know, he just doesn't look like he is in a mindset to have a kid. Yeah. Period. He like, looked like the turn up in the club. Type. He looked like he all about him right now. So yeah. it's gonna be. Maybe this is good for him though. You know, maybe it's something that maybe. can actually help him mature and things of for that real. nature. Um, Cause I know a lot of people who have been in, like crazy partiers or gang banging and shit, and totally changed their life for their kids. Mm -hmm. So it can also be a good thing. We gonna see. Only time will tell. Expecting there, like, like is it like like when I walk in the room, like, like are they gonna already be doing what they doing, or like like do we meet like an hour? <laughs> Bro, like what? Like, you know, like a business? Like, you have like a business? No, it's not a business. Before, like, you gotta be kidding. Job, you have like a quick meeting before you start work. <laughs> like, is that what we're gonna do? Like, do we come together, like, huddle up? Like, no. Okay, no, you don't. Make this slice here, you know, like little this, like little pictures. Like, I'm gonna make this slice here. It's gonna look like that. Yeah, this nigga is zooted. He's definitely zooted. Gotta for be, because sure. you yeah. act like you never seen a baby delivery. And it, you probably nigga. watched that most baby being delivered. So, uh, you can't tell me that you have no idea. You might be in the hospital for a few days. You know what Shit I'm saying? Shit is hilarious, dude. He cannot be serious. Goes, is it a C-section or she have a natural? I have no idea. I believe it'll probably be a C-section, though. I'm not quite uh -huh. sure. Y'all leave us a comment down below. Let us know. Would she have a C-section baby or would she have a natural birth? I can't remember. I know she was having complications or whatever with CJ and stuff. So I don't know if he was a C-section mm -hmm. baby or a regular baby. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know. Then I'm going to pull it up. And like what? take it out, you know what I mean? Like is they you're not delivering the baby. What's gonna go on? What? It's not gonna be you, buddy. Like are they gonna are they gonna leave me out? Am I gonna be the one in the room that doesn't know what's happening? Yes, obviously. Like, am I gonna be left obviously. out? Or, like I feel like the huddle would be dope. Like before, like just <laughs> Me, the doctor. You making it too serious, the bro. Model. You making it too maybe serious. Could be there, it's not know, football. Like maybe be in the room or so she could be in the, in, the, in the huddle too. So you just all be on the same page and the chemistry is amazing in it. All right, that's enough, guys. All right, um, yeah, y'all leave us a comment down below. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, baby. He's not ready yet. <laughs> Oh my God, I can't believe what we just watched right now, bro. I cannot fucking believe what we just watched right oh now. Oh my gosh, I can't either because I can't believe he's like, oh my has God. no earthly idea. Right. Are you lying? You have no clue what you're lying. Leave us a comment down below. I know y'all have a lot of thoughts and opinions. Leave them in the comments down below, please. We want to know exactly what's on y'all's <laughs> mind at this moment, okay? Oh, Was it just us tripping? 
Or did we have valid reason to say what we just said, okay? Because I think we have valid reason. Oh my reason. gosh. Because this nigga's tripping. He on, okay? Fooling. I don't know what it is, but love y'all so freaking much, man. Make sure, like I said, subscribe to Studology 101, Nick and Les, and not hey. it's Nick, okay? My nigga, my nigga over here. They are turning up. They just hit 14K on the Nick and Les channel. So everybody congratulate them for fucking 14K, man. We all going up. 2019 is our motherfucking year. We couldn't do it without each and every one of you guys. From the bottom of my balls or the bottom of my heart because I ain't got no balls. I love you guys so freaking much. Like this video. Make sure that y'all comment your thoughts and opinions down below. Make sure you share this video with a friend and hit that bell so you can be notified every time I post another lit ass video. And thank God you wore a shirt today. And thank God I wore a shirt today. You know, I didn't want to be butt ass naked in front of my nigga here. So I had to go ahead. I'm still showing a little show to action. You feel me? <laughs> like I like it, okay? Make sure that you DM me at DZ Studology 101 and let me know what I should be reacting to next. Tell a friend to tell a friend today. Ain't your mama today. Uncle Joe. That nigga's still a hoe. And I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Love y'all, man. Peace. And we out. None of that hate really bother me. YouTube, three years. They don't want to see me blow. They don't want to hear the flow. But this is usually how I go. Bankroll, bankroll.